Good day, everyone, and welcome. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on the sim as long as needed until you get to know the market and the risk in the future market. Before we start with the other auto trade, this is a signal auto trade. Uh, you have here on the left upper corner the ES buy entry 41025, target 4128, based on one contract. And if we look at the ES here, uh, there are two contracts on the market analyzer. There is only one contract. This is a one fully automated trade. Uh, have uh, five different auto trades with it pullback, pullback, re entry, uh, signal entry, ATM, and a full automated. There is five automated trade on that system alone. Uh, here's another example on the YM, uh, one minute. You can see from the left upper corner, uh, buy 33641, target 33692028 28 ticks into the trade. This is uh, on the YM 145, here 280, uh, because it's uh, based on two contracts. Uh, we have the auto trade. You can have one contract, two contract, as many as you need. So on the left upper corner, we use uh, the blue chart uh, for uh, signal automated to trade. On the uh, uh, right upper corner, uh, if we look at the market analyzer, uh, this is we use this uh, auto trade uh, based on a 15 second. The market analyzer is based on a 15 second. If we look at the YM, uh, the YM buy at 33.607, target 33.682, and uh, then the auto trade, if the market is trending, extend the targets by itself, as you see right here, and it's switching from a scalping to swing trading. So on and off, uh, right now, this is the last entry signal. It's not the whole day. Uh, we have uh, on the last entry signal, 126 uh, ticks based on one contract. Uh, this is just the last entry, not the whole day. Uh, you don't need to trade all of them. You can trade ES alone. You can trade the NASDAQ alone. You can trade ES, NASDAQ, YM based on one contract or two contract. Still, uh, you, you can activate whatever uh, instruments you need to activate and you deactivate what you don't want. So you don't need to trade all of it. You just need to trade uh, maybe one or two instruments. Depends on uh, how much risk uh, you are willing to take and how much knowledge you know about the market. Let's look to some other auto trades. Uh, most of those trades uh, on the other channel today, uh, we go live channel on the uh, uh, on the other channel, and uh, most of those uh, auto trades that were uh, closed before even twelve o'clock today, when we were uh, going live. The only uh, trade we have left is an ES nine range. Mainly, there are five minutes. Uh, this is an ES one minute. They all closed uh, somewhere around between 11 and 12. All of them, they are on $1,000 uh, target. But uh, if the market going to your direction is going uh, to stay uh, to your direction, and um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, you can scalp the market. This one here is a TI7 and a V8. It's the same auto trade for Ninja Trader 8. And uh, we, do, we have done some smart things for we use in the latest technology. And we have created a new technology for optimization as well. And um, uh, as you see, um, I mean, still you have to understand the market before you start auto trading. That is no uh, way out of that. But uh, once you start learning how to auto trade, because it's still auto trade, you need to manage it. At the end of the day, it's mechanical. It's not magic. Um, this one here also, it was on the live trade with the, on the other channel. And uh, we, we nailed the DAX with 8,143. Uh, we will have the link. You can uh, look at it. Uh, it is uh, on the other channel. It's live. You can. Uh, you're welcome to follow us on the other channel. Uh, this is an ES four minutes. 
And as you see, all of them that were done before even at 12 o'clock, uh, I'm just, I don't want to talk about uh, the PNL because it was a very nice day today. And the market was uh, really running smoothly. This one here done at 10.30, uh, YM five minutes. All of them are on five minutes, three minutes ES was done at 11 o'clock. Most of them that were done by 11, 12 o'clock. Um, I'm not gonna open all the charts, but we can see that this one here was done by 10.30, 16.95. This one here was done by 11.30. And beautiful, uh, 4,800 on the ES. Beautiful right, close position, beautiful closing area. And nothing is done after that. We were done before 12 o'clock. Uh, this one here, uh, the CL3980, also between 11 and 12, 1130, we were done with the trade. Uh, NASDAQ, one minute. This is a big statement when you trade one minute. Uh, 3,335 done between 11 and 12 if the market is moving you don't have a problem and if the market not moving you will have a problem and uh, on and on and on uh, es one minute it was done at 11 a uh, little bit before 11 30. Uh, this is the one minute and we show you the two minutes what time uh, the two minutes was done also at uh, even before 11 o'clock and uh, on and on and on and uh, this is uh, most of them that were closed uh, before 12 o'clock I want to say thank you very much and um, again guys I just want to remind you uh, auto trading by itself is not good enough uh, you have to have the support for the auto trade learning how to auto trade when to auto trade how to manage an auto trade and then uh, uh, but you cannot purchase an auto trade on sunday and uh, uh, going live on monday you have to understand the limitation you have to understand the optimization you have to understand your daily target and then uh, we uh, then uh, you have to be conservative and uh, once you hit your daily target plus minus whatever if the market moving, you will hit your daily target. If the, your, uh, the market not moving, you're not gonna hit your daily target. I mean, we, we cannot be, don't expect to hit your daily target every day if the market not moving. So thank you very much and uh, we'll see you on Thursday on the other channel live. Thank you very much and God bless you all.